Hi, I'm Owen from English Folk Dance and Song Society, and I'm here with Stuart and Debbie from Megson, who are playing at Cecil Sharp House on the 30th of April. So, tell us who you are. Who are Megson? Who are Megson? <laughs> you decent question. Um, well, Stuart and Debs, um, we are a husband and wife duo. Haven't always been, but we did get married halfway through being Megson. We were always a duo, but we were always husband and wife. fine. We sing, um, we play instruments, and um, we understand people, I guess. And if you released your latest album, In a Box. The, the album's called In a Box, you can yeah. release it in a box. <laughs> uh, just every, have you had lots of puns like that? <laughs> I think that might be the first. Well, no, exactly, yeah, there's been some. Because there's a line in our brochure that says something like, Stu and Debbie will play songs from their latest album, In a Box. Which should be in a box, <laughs> yeah. pop out. How do you know that's not going to happen? We think. It might happen. I think you should. I, I think, think we should. Yeah. But yes, you released like, the best part of a year ago yeah. now. Um, so how's that year been? Have you done lots of touring with that? Lots of exciting things? Um, yeah, we have. It's yeah. been really good. Um, really busy year on the road, um, touring the album, doing all the new songs. It's always exciting to do new songs. Um, it's gone really well. Yeah, nice, yeah, really good. Yeah, great, great audiences. Just a lots of fun playing. The, the new st songs particularly from the last album, I think the ones that we've done are more suited to playing live, you know, we worked them up a bit more um, in a, with the two of us together kind of way rather than in the studio or with other people. And so um, they're just they're really good fun to sing, if that makes sense. Yeah. And that, you can you usually see that in the audience, the reaction as well, you get, it seems to come across really well. Yeah. yeah. So you've released, is it seven albums now? Yeah. And it's, <laughs> has, it, has there been a sort of clear development as you've gone along, or is it more an exploration of the same thing, or a bit of both? Yeah, I think the sounds developed it, definitely, and um, I think the main thing is probably the, the lyrics. When we were starting off, we probably spent a bit less time on, on the lyrics, but yeah. more, more as, as, time, as time goes on, and probably more that we've um, added more uh, traditional songs or songs from um, somewhere is 100, 200 years ago into the set, the more we've wanted to make sure that our songs lyrically stood up to yeah. stood up to those, you know. Mm -hmm. You're you're pretty much self sufficient as a band, right? In terms of yeah. you, you do your own bookings, you're yeah. Yeah. you show albums. What what made you decide to go about things that way rather than getting a team involved like many other people do? I think when we started off we were just on our own doing it anyway. We didn't really know too much about the scene. We were just kind of exploring it and figuring it all out ourselves. Um, I don't know, maybe we were just a bit control freaks. Maybe, maybe. It's good fun as well, I know. To be honest, I kind of, I quite like doing all the different bits, you know, I've always been a bit nosy about, oh, you know, what are we starting at? Oh, what does, you know, what does a mastering engineer do, you know? What does a, a you know, live agent do, you know? What do a manager do, you know? Well, what the publicity, how does all that work? I've always wanted to know about yeah. it, you know? And so, um, it's, it's fun and interesting, you know? Um, Designer on flyers sometimes as well, so you're on foot, shop doing that, yeah, that's quite cool, yeah. What else would we do during the day? What, what else would we do? I'll tell you what else we do, we watch bargain hunts, you know, so it saves us from bargain hunts, I guess it's the truth, yeah. Because you've done a lot of production work on other people's albums, haven't you? Yeah. Is that kind of just a, a, an extension of this kind of being interested in? Probably, yeah, um, because we always did our own, I think it was Sean Lakeman and her, one of the earlier records that that I've recorded in our flat in London. And um, he was like, oh, you should do this for the people. And suggested it to the record for Benji Kirkpatrick. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of spiralled from there, really. So you perform a lot of your own material, but you've done some traditional stuff as well. How do you approach traditional material in comparison to your own? I think we always look at them very similar, don't we? We don't approach one differently to the other. Um, it's just about bringing stories and songs to life. Mm. We try, um, yeah. we try and do that. We try and make sure that it's, it's kind of the balance between <clears throat> doing something in a different way than it's been done before, you know, like with a song. Make sure you're not copying someone else's version, but at the same time, you don't want to kind of study lots of other people's interpretations of songs because then y you lose your sense of the initial approach to it. You know, like the first time you kind of, oh, yeah, it should be done like this. Mm -hmm. So I do find that, that, that a bit tricky, but. Um, uh, so a lot of the traditional songs that we do haven't, literally for that reason, haven't been recorded by any other people yeah. because it, sometimes if you've heard other versions then it's like 
it's too easy, you know. It's really boring. I, I've got yeah. a really boring mind. If I hate something, I find I'm kind of stealing other people's yeah. ideas unconsciously, yeah. you know. But then a lot of the time we do just try to we tend to find a lot of traditional lyrics, don't we? Yeah. And then we put our own music to it anyway, so they they just kind of have, you know, the the approach that we choose to our original songs as well. I yeah. Think. So do you prefer to find songs in written form rather than? Rather than, than hear them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For the reason that it's after the. As I said just before, it's yeah. um, hard to get somebody else's version out of your head, head yeah, yeah, if you know what I mean. It's not, it's, we always have to do something a bit different, yeah. So it's, I think, yeah, it's when I see lyrics written down, they can inspire melodies quite mm. quickly, I think, mm. you know. It's like, well, that should be pretty bad. So, in comparison to your sort of standard gigs, you do some children's shows as well. Yeah. Where, where did that idea come from? Um, we've got a little girl, she's nearly four. Um, and I think it was when I was pregnant, we started to think about putting just together a children's album, really. Because um, we knew we wouldn't be able to be on the road as much with Megson, and we still wanted to do something. So we did a ch collection of children's songs and recorded those, um, released the album. And then a few people approached us and said, oh, well, do you want to come and do a gig with them? And it's, we hadn't really initially thought of that. It wasn't why we thought we did the album. Um, but then it's like, oh, OK, well, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, and then just found there's actually quite a demand for live music for children, you know, especially, you know, folk music, trying to get them interested early. And um, so, yeah, we do quite a few a year now, and it's brilliant just to get, you know, it's little, little kids from babies up to about seven or eight, and you know, just seeing them getting involved with live music, and it's brilliant. I think we, we, we wish we could have some gigs to take our little girls. Yeah, no, I wish people, with, wish people, yeah. yeah, I wish other people would do it, especially around here, because. Uh, it's just so much fun actually. It's really good fun to, to, to do, isn't it? And yeah. to see the response you get from, from the kids. Yeah. And, and they love it, they absolutely love it, don't they? The yeah. yeah, they do, yeah, yeah. And we don't, you know, we make sure we really think about the songs that we're doing and the, the, the arrangements are as, as detailed as they are for the regular show. We don't, we don't water it down no. in any way. In some ways, you can actually, it's a little bit liberating, you can take a bit more risks musically, you know, yeah. you can try different things. I think I certainly show off a bit more on, the, on some of the instruments. No, it doesn't matter if I make a mistake. To a certain extent, I can, I can risk a bit more. Yeah. You draw quite heavily on your Teesside heritage a yeah. lot of the time. Do you think it's important to stay rooted in your sort of geographical area? I think I, I think we like to do it because it's who we are and where we're from. And I would just feel a bit of a hoax trying to sing a song about farming, or mm. um, you know, we like to do songs that we can relate to and really get into. And I think because they, they are Teesside. And songs that you know, really feels like home for us, and we can we can definitely draw on those and, and approach them better and sing them better. I think. Yeah, and especially some of the songs that we've done on, on the last record on previous records, where there's a lot of dialect as well. It's quite nice to sing, you know. It's yeah. it's it's even though you know, our accent is not as strong as it once was. Um, there's something nice about singing your own accent. You can do it well. I think you know you can. You, those vowel sounds are natural to your voice, and so the, um, it's quite fun and, and nice to do. So quite a big and vague question. <laughs> Why do you write songs? To, to hear what they'll sound like. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, the, the, the kind of, that kind of, I wonder what it'll sound like if that this chord goes next and this melody and this, and it, it's not usually to tell a specific story, I don't think, actually. It's more... It's more like a sonic thing, sonic discovery, you know, like like a, an itch to hear what it will, what it would be yeah. like, you know. Um, and then once you've got something that you think, oh, that's that's you know that's a, that sounds really good, that sounds really interesting, it's nice to share it with other people as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it starts from I think yeah, they want, wanting to just create something. Yeah, just sit down and... So after this show at the end of April, what have you got planned for the next few months? Busy with festivals. Yeah, we've got yeah. Our festivals. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, coming up. Um, got the beginnings of Willow Street. Um, starting a, a Christmas show, not Christmas show, but working with some friends. As we look where we are now, which is um, near Cambridge. Got friends, a uh, band called the Willows, um, and also a, 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 a thing called Hannah Sanders as well. And just forming a little group to kind of develop some. Seasonal songs, so in the summer we're going to be um, singing Christmas songs. It's <laughs> ridiculous, really. Got to be done. Got to be done, yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, I guess kind of the start of a new album, really. I mean, 
Yeah, the start, start to write some new stuff. Yeah, yeah, start to get some new ideas. Yeah.